Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the functions of lipids. You should then be able to describe the structure of fatty acids. And finally you should be able to describe the formation of triglycerides. Ok now this is the first video looking at lipids. And lipids is a scientific name for molecules found in fats and oils. Lipids have a range of functions and you need to be able to describe them. Firstly lipids are a major source of energy in the human diet. We find lipids in oils such as olive oil and in solid fats such as butter. Both of these are rich sources of energy. Lipids are also used to store energy, for example adipose tissue in humans. Adipose tissue is found under the skin. Now as well as acting as an energy store, this adipose tissue also helps to insulate the body, reducing heat loss to the environment. We also find adipose tissue around internal organs such as the kidneys and this helps to protect these organs from injury. Lipids are also used as waterproofing, for example the oils which coat the feathers of aquatic birds. And finally lipids are a major part of the structure of membranes such as those which surround cells and mitochondria. Now there are two main categories of lipids. These are called triglycerides and phospholipids. In this video we're going to look at triglycerides and in the next video we look at phospholipids. This shows the general structure of a triglyceride. Triglycerides contain a molecule of glycerol bonded to three fatty acid molecules. So let's start by looking at fatty acids. I'm showing you the structure of a fatty acid molecule here. Now there are two key parts to fatty acid molecules. At the end we have the carboxylic group and this plays an important role when we form a triglyceride. We'll be looking at that in more detail later in the video. The rest of the molecule consists of a long chain of carbon atoms bonded to hydrogen. Now this is a saturated fatty acid. Saturated fatty acids contain only single covalent bonds between the carbon atoms and we can see those here. I'm showing you here an unsaturated fatty acid. As you can see unsaturated fatty acids have at least one double covalent bond between the carbon atoms. This is a monounsaturated fatty acid as there's only one double covalent bond in the carbon chain. This fatty acid has two double covalent bonds in the carbon chain. So this fatty acid is polyunsaturated. Coming up we're going to look at the formation of triglycerides. Ok now as we saw before triglycerides are formed from one molecule of glycerol and three molecules of fatty acids. I'm showing you a molecule of glycerol here and I would recommend that you learn this structure. As you can see a glycerol molecule has three hydroxyl groups. Here's a glycerol molecule and a molecule of fatty acid. Now these two molecules can react together to form a bond and I'm showing you that here. This is called an ester bond and this process is called esterification. In this reaction we also make a molecule of water. So this is an example of a condensation reaction. Now we can carry out this reaction with two more fatty acid molecules like this and this is the structure of a triglyceride molecule. Now as we said before fats and oils are a major source of energy in the human diet. In the digestive system lipase enzymes break the ester bonds releasing the glycerol and fatty acid molecules. This reaction requires three water molecules and is an example of a hydrolysis reaction. Now there are a couple of final points about triglycerides that you need to understand. Firstly triglycerides are non-polar molecules. This means that they're hydrophobic, in other words they do not dissolve in water. This explains why triglycerides are used as waterproofing, for example in aquatic birds. Secondly because triglycerides contain a large number of carbon and hydrogen atoms, a great deal of energy can be released from triglycerides and we'll see that in more detail in the topic on respiration. In the next video we look at the category of lipids called phospholipids. 